so today we'll discuss a very very uh, important topic that is differentiating three uterine anomalies on an hsg or a 3d ultrasound so the three anomalies which commonly get confused are a uterine didelphis a bicornuate uterus and a septate uterus so let's start with the easiest one that is a uterine didelphis now a uterine didelphis as you can see in both these diagrams show a uterine didelphis where the horns are completely separate there is no communication at all between the horns in the first picture you see one leech wilkinson cannula which is going and then filling both the cavities separately with no communication in the second and this is a more classical picture you have two leech wilkinson entering both the services cervixes separately and filling the horn so both of these are uterine didelphis don't think that only because one uh, leech wilkinson is here it can't be it can still be a uterine didelphis but there is no communication between the horns at all now if we move down and this is the more commonly asked more confusing topic and this is differentiating between a septate uterus and a bicornuate uterus on an hsg now remember the accuracy of an hsg in differentiating between a bicornuate and septate uterus is quite low it is only 55 percent so it is not the investigation of choice but if a question is asked and which has very commonly been asked as um, as uh, uh, the last NEET PG 2022 so what can what is the way to differentiate now if you see the angle between the uterine horns this angle if this angle is obtuse or more than 105 degrees it is a bicornuate uterus more likely to be a bicornuate uterus if the angle is acute less than 75 degrees what is said then it is a septate uterus so remember a large angle bicornuate a lesser angle it is a septate uterus but the sensitivity is poor of this test so what do we resort to the best uh, modality of choice non-invasive investigation of choice is a 3d ultrasound now this is a 3d ultrasound now what do we see in this ultrasound is we see these white areas these white areas are the uterine horns and this thing on top this indentation is the fundus so what do we do we draw a line between the two uterine horns like this like this like this and see how it falls with respect to the fundus of the uterus now if it is crossing the fundus as you can see or if the distance between this line and the fundus is less than 5 millimeter then it is a bicornuate uterus however if this distance you can see here the distance is more between the uterine horns and the fundus this is more than 5 millimeter it is a septate uterus and this is the best way to diagnose a or to differentiate between a bicornuate and a septate uterus the best non-invasive non way so this is how we determine or differentiate between the two on a 3d scan and as i have mentioned earlier on an hsg i hope this is clear